What's going on, guys? It's Steve. So how can the Cleveland Cavaliers pull off an epic finals win and defeat the Golden State Warriors? Now, this is probably going to be one of the most exciting finals of all time. 20 years from now, people are going to be talking about this rivalry between the Warriors and Cavs. I don't give a damn what you say. It is a damn rivalry. 20 years from now, people will be talking about this rivalry. For the first time in NBA history, the same two teams meet in the NBA Finals three years in a row. One of these teams, the Golden State Warriors, just acquired the second best player on the planet. And they already had the third best player on the planet, the back-to-back -back MVP in Stephen Curry. But the point is, is how can the Cleveland Cavaliers pull off a victory? It's fairly simple. Obviously, everything's easier said than done. Keep that in mind before anyone says, Steve, it's all easier said than done. I know. Look. LeBron James, the first thing that has to happen is the most obvious. Is LeBron James needs to come out aggressive. He cannot do what he did last year in the finals because if they go down 3-1, if they go down 2-1, the series is over. Both teams, if they want to stand a chance in winning, have to win alternate wins pretty much until it goes to seven. It's as simple as that. But anyway, LeBron cannot play passive for the first few games, allow his team to go down, and then start to play aggressive. That's not going to happen. They have Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry on the same team. It's not going to happen. It worked when it was just Curry, but now that they have KD, it's not going to fly. It's just not going to fly. Anyway, so what does that mean? That means LeBron James has to come out the gate and play aggressive. He has to come out playing aggressive. There's no excuses for LeBron James to not come out playing aggressive and angry. I already know how LeBron operates. I've been watching this man for over 10 years. I know how he operates. I grew up watching him. I know exactly what he does. This man is going to come out passive and it's going to piss all of us off. But if he doesn't, the Cavaliers have a better chance of winning. Now, obviously, I believe the Cavs will pull off this victory because I have hope in LeBron coming out aggressive from the get-go. But all that dancing, all that shenanigans of listening to what other people say and then playing music, you have to just throw all that out the window. Let all of that nonsense go. Just let it all go. Forget about all of that. It's that simple. Forget about all of that nonsense. When you forget about all of that nonsense, you can focus on the game. There's a reason why they lost, what was it, game four in Boston, in Cleveland? When they were playing music, because I forgot who was talking trash to them. They called them the monsters or something. Like, like come on. All of that dancing before, uh, screw the dancing. Screw all of that. Strictly focus on the game. Now, another thing that LeBron James needs to do is take Stephen Curry out of the game mentally. Take him out mentally, just like he did last season. If he can do that, take him out the game mentally, just like he did last season. LeBron, you know, I mean, excuse me, not LeBron. Stephen Curry is not going to be able to operate mentally. But not just Stephen Curry. And I mean, rip his heart out like he did last year. And it's not just Stephen Curry. It's Kevin Durant. Rip Kevin Durant's heart out. You have the advantage. You, I think LeBron's record against Kevin Durant is like 16-4. and four. It may be wrong. I don't know the exact record because obviously they played a few games this season. And, you know, I, I didn't really update the record. But it's something like 16-4. and four. Now, we all know who has the best record against LeBron. But that's, I'm not even going to, that's besides the point. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony. Anyway, listen. If LeBron rips Kevin Durant's heart out of his chest, LeBron, Kevin Durant has the possibility of collapsing. He has a possibility of collapsing because Kevin Durant is not used to being on that stage. Listen, I know you can sit here and say, oh, if I were KD, I wouldn't give a damn what people say. The same thing, oh, if I were LeBron back in 20, uh, tw tw what was it, December 2010 when I first returned to Cleveland, I wouldn't give a damn if they were bullying me saying Akron hates. Listen, when you're in the arena and you have 30,000 people booing you, it's a different story. When you have millions of people giving you death threats on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, it's a different story, okay? Listen, it gets to people. You won't understand until you're in that position. I'm not saying I understand because I don't, but I can understand from a smaller aspect of having, I probably get, well, like, or let's say I max out on 1,000 views a video, but I average around 700 views per video, okay? So I have probably, out of those 700 people that watch, I would say like 50 people comment. Okay, out of those 50 people that comment, 
I would say around five to ten people are hating. Okay? Now, I'm not saying, oh, you hurt my feelings, but sometimes it gets to you. It's like, why is this dude, like, bothering me? You know, so I can see, um, if that hurts me, imagine having millions of people know who you are like Kevin Durant. I mean, it's going to get to him. So if LeBron can rip his heart out of his chest, it's going to be perfect for the Cavaliers to win this series. Now, there's going to be a backlash to that because if you remember... When that happened to LeBron in 2011, what happened? He came back better than ever. So the same thing's going to happen with Kevin Durant. But anyway, so LeBron has to play aggressive. We all get that. That's the main thing the Cavs need to win. Now, the second main thing the Cleveland Cavaliers need to win is obviously they need to stay healthy. So I'm not going to even elaborate on that. They need to stay healthy. Every single one of them need to. Okay. But one of the most important things that the Cleveland Cavaliers need, and people really don't understand, is that they need to utilize the superstar potential in Kevin Love. There's a reason why Kevin Love was averaging 26 and 13 in Minnesota. No scrub does that, okay? Kevin Love has superstar potential, and they need to utilize that like they have been doing this regular season. And pretty much the postseason. They've been utilizing Kevin Love greatly, and they need to keep that up. They need to keep that utilization up. What do I mean by that? They need to use him perfectly. Stop having him stand on the corner or, or, or on the wing. That's where he likes to stand, on the, on the elbow and catch and shoot. Stop that nonsense. Let him go bang down low with Draymond Green. Kevin Love is a great low post player. He's incredible. Go watch, Draymond, uh, go watch Kevin Love in Minnesota when he was playing down low. He was unguardable. Unguardable. They need to utilize him in the low post. He needs to average 20 and 10. They need to have him have his usage rate to at least 20%. LeBron's is probably going to be 30. Kyrie's is probably going to be 25. Have Kevin Love in that 20 to 25 range as well. You need to utilize Kevin Love. You need all the firepower you have in order to defeat this team. Because LeBron James is great. Kyrie Irving is great. Kevin Love is great. But LeBron is, and Kyrie Irving is a great scorer, but he's not a Stephen Curry and Kevin Durant combined scorer. LeBron by himself will give you 35 points per game in the finals. Kevin Durant will probably give you 30 to 35 points per game. Let's say 35, Stephen Curry will give you 30 to 35. Let's say 30. That's 65. Let's say Kyrie Irving gives LeBron 25. 65 to 60. Okay? Then you have Klay Thompson giving you 20. So that's 85 to 60. Then you have Draymond Green possibly giving you, let's say, 15. You you catch my drift? So Kevin Love needs to be utilized perfectly. He needs to be utilized. There are no excuses. You need to have him bang in the low post. Get him involved early. Actually, no, don't do that. Get LeBron involved early in the game. Because if LeBron doesn't get involved early in the game, he's going to be thrown out of his rhythm. Then he's going to start playing passive. Then he's going to play like dog doo-doo. Get LeBron utilized early. You know what? Just alternate. Just, just throw plays at all of them. Have Kyrie do his thing. Have Kevin Love do his thing. Have LeBron do his thing. Just keep it up. He, uh, low post action, man. Screw that standing on the on the perimeter, catching and shooting. Get that man in the low post where he belongs. He's a great low post player. Now, obviously, we need Kyrie Irving to show up, which he we already know he will. Um, you know, a lot of people blame Kevin Love, but it's not Kevin Love. It's the coaching. Okay, they're not utilizing him right. But anyway, Kyrie Irving needs to be Kyrie Irving last season. Or he just has to keep doing what he's been doing offensively. Okay, now something Kyrie also needs to do is play smarter and slow down a bit. I've said this before. Kyrie Irving could have cost the Cleveland Cavaliers the NBA championship last in the 2016 NBA Finals. The reason why I say that is because when they were up by three, after the block, after the shot, they got the ball back. Kyrie Irving went for a layup when he should have just ran the clock out until they fouled. It would have stopped the clock with like probably, I don't remember, it was probably like 12, 13 seconds. I don't remember the exact time. Okay? They could have stopped the clock, had it real low, ran the clock out, hit easy free throws. You would have been up five. Okay? But instead... He airballed, he got blocked on a, on a layup, and he's lucky he got it back. Because if he didn't, who knows what would have happened after that. So so, so that, that goes to the point. Okay? So that continues the point. 
You need to get all three of them involved, have their confidence involved, and I, I guarantee you they'll have a championship. Now, it's not just it's not just that. J.R. Smith needs to be involved. They need to rip – screw Stephen Curry. I take that back. Stephen Curry, that's not going to happen to him again. You need to rip Kevin Durant's heart out of his chest. If you can do that, your potential of winning is great. Your potential of winning the finals just drastically increases. Now, this is where things get tricky. J.R. Smith needs to play great defense. We need to have 2013 sixth man of the year. I don't really want to go in depth because it's going to make me sad about some memories that I had about a certain team and my hopes of that certain team being, you know, a super team because they were on route until a certain person came, but whatever. Jared Smith needs to be 2013 sixth man of the year, Jared Smith. Okay, Tristan Thompson needs to be Tristan Thompson. No fighting, none of that nonsense. They just need to go at it. That's what the Cavaliers need to do. Now, defensively, there's really nothing you can do but just try to trap Curry off of those screens. Uh, Kevin Durant, there's nothing you can do because he doesn't come off screens a lot. And when he does, it's like a mid-range jump shot from the free throw line. And either way, no matter what you do, he's going to shoot over anyone. And if you put a big man on, he's going to just fly by him. So there's uh, honestly, there's nothing you can do to Kevin Durant except just try to put, put a body on him and stay in front of him. Besides that, there's nothing you can do. Curry, just try to catch him on the screens, and that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been Humanity. I'm out. Peace.